Hello and welcome to a new episode of Geek Lunch Me. I'm your host Chris. As usual, and in this episode we're going to be taking a look at a vintage board game. Uh, in this instance, it is uh, Monopoly, the Star Wars Episode 1, uh, the Phantom Menace Edition. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Helps out a great deal. Helps the video get seen by a lot more people. And if you've not already subscribed, why not smash that subscribe button? We'd absolutely love to have you as a subscriber here at the channel. So it's time to cast your mind back to the giddy days of 1999. Yes, all the way back to the last millennium. And in 99, you could not move for the amount of merchandise for Star Wars Episode 1. It was probably the most eagerly anticipated film of all time. And whilst the film turned out to be not exactly what a lot of us fans uh, were actually looking for, there was so much different merchandise, you were bound to find something uh, that took your eye. I mean, episode 1 was slapped on you know, every product uh, you could name, and those Parker brothers certainly weren't going to miss out on some of that Star Wars money. So these days you can get Monopoly with pretty much any brand um, slapped on it that you could think of. But back then, I think this was probably one of the first actually themed uh, Monopoly sets. And they really went to town on it uh, with a 3D raised board, um, some fantastically sculpted uh, pewter figures, and everything just being themed uh, to Star Wars nicely. So without any further ado, let's get this game open and see what we get inside. So as you can see, we've got the uh, traditional Monopoly Man at the top, property trading game from Parker Brothers, Star Wars Episode One. Collector's Edition 3D board game uh, includes eight collectible tokens of Episode 1 characters. It's a nice shiny gold box, I've obviously you know, sort of pushed the boat out a bit for this Collector's Edition. We can see the uh, some of the characters there on the side, we'll have a close look at those obviously when we look inside the box. If we turn the box over, we can see the new board and all the different bits that we're getting. Buy, sell, build, own the galaxy. As you travel around the Star Wars universe, snap up galactic properties on the unique 3D game board. Which side of the Force will prevail? Will the Sith Lords capture the most properties or will the Jedi reign? Who will win? The Evil Trade Federation or the Battle of Naboo Heroes? Bankrupt everyone else and you will learn the answer. So instead of the Jedi and the Sith fighting for control of the galaxy in lightsaber battles, they're going to be doing property deals. Uh, a bit of a strange idea, but obviously that's, you know, that's how Monopoly works. So let's get this box open and take a look inside. So first of all, it's got some instructions which tells you how to put the board together. Because I say, it's not just a fold-out board. Like normal Monopoly, you've got some 3D bits on there as well. And that's basically um, these two big uh, plastic sections which are raised. Um, they've got uh, holes in them as well where you stick in uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, houses and the uh, hotels that you build. And we'll take a look at the board in a minute in greater detail. And then we've got the instructions, not much to it. It tells you the rules uh, for the classic game of Monopoly that everyone sort of knows and loves. And then basically there's a section that says what's the same and what's different um, and how the, you know, the episode one theming uh, affects how you play the game. So say so this is the uh, board. Folds out. We've just got all of the uh, sort of classic images that we've come to know and love uh, from episode one. As I say, we'll put the board together in a second and have a closer look at that. So then we've got your classic Monopoly uh, tokens and cards have all just been given a uh, Star Wars theme. Here is the money. And as you can see, we've got uh, galactic credits with uh, a Coruscant scene on there. And you've got all the different uh, denominations. So for the houses, you've got these little Coruscant buildings done in silver. And then the hotels, when you upgrade, are these big uh, skyscrapers uh, done in gold, which is a nice touch. You've got a couple of standard six-sided dice, no change there. Uh, instead of chance and community chest, you've got Sith and uh, Jedi cards. These are the Sith cards. As you see, that's an escape from jail card. Got a hyperdrive failure, go back three spaces. So yeah, basically they act in exactly the same way. So then you've got your Jedi cards. Um, Jedi Council Fund matures, collect 100 credits. Build your own lightsaber, pay 150 credits. So say they work in exactly the same way. And then you've got all your different uh, properties. Um, but instead of, uh, say, obviously, I'm used to paying the, uh, playing the English uh, version of the game with all the um, you know, uh, properties in London. Here you've got the Moss Esper Arena, uh, Watto's Box, uh, Jabber's Box, the Starting Grid. You've got Theed, Energy Beam Hallway, uh, the Main Hangar, uh, the Generator Core, 
uh, and you got Otogunga and all say so all the different properties are now themed uh, as uh, episode one locations. We've then got uh, instead of the classic um, pieces that you move around, we've got these uh, very nicely uh, detailed uh, pewter figures uh, of some episode one characters. And we've got Princess Amidala, the Emperor himself, uh, Darth Maul, Qui Gon, Anakin Skywalker, uh, Subulba. Uh, everyone's favourite, Jar Jar, um, and a battle droid. Um, yes, uh, they do the Obi-Wan dirty. He doesn't get included in this uh, set at all, but he does get his image um, on the Jedi cards. So um, there is that for him. So here's the board. Uh, once you put it together, you just slot these two, say, these raised plastic pieces together, and it gives you this nice 3D effect uh, around the edge of the board. You've got you know, your main um, you know, normal Monopoly squares, go uh the jail free parking you know and the go to jail space there's space as well for the cards uh, they sort of slot in here and then the jedi cards just slot in here uh, on the other side as well now if i move the board up slightly uh, so we can see the properties down here and uh, say so the properties are printed on quite thick card and then what you do is uh, there's little slots for them as well so you've got moss uh, esper arena jabba's box um and that just fits in here and just slides in uh, same with uh, watto's box as well and then obviously as you buy the properties, uh, you remove them uh, from the spaces. And then like in traditional Monopoly, once you've got uh, all of the properties, uh, you can buy houses and put them on to increase the rents. Uh, they just slot into the little holes. And they say when you upgrade uh, even more, you've got the big hotels uh, and they just slot in like that as well. So, yeah, it's like a standard Monopoly setup, but uh, you know, for the episode one uh, collector's edition, uh, just so they have included this sort of uh, plastic raised area and the way that the, uh, the hotels and the houses uh, slot in. It just gives it a nicer uh, sort of more deluxe feel. And so once your board is all set up, um, is anything like uh, playing Monopoly as a kid in our house, uh, you then enter into the sort of uh, 10, 12 hour game of uh, family arguments um, and sort of in the end sort of abandoning the game uh, with no real clear winner as is, I believe, you know, sort of the Monopoly tradition. It makes me feel really old I have to refer to this as a vintage game, but um, you know, it is almost 25 years old now. And back then we were certainly referring to you know the original Star Wars figures as you know as vintage toys um, and they absolutely weren't even as old as this is now. And the good thing is if you want to get hold of one of these, um like a lot of episode one merchandise, there was so much of it, everyone bought it uh, thinking it was going to become you know collectible and worth money in the future because you know obviously the original Star Wars toys did. But as I say, there was just so much of it available. Uh you can pick these up on eBay uh for about £15 currently. So you certainly won't need to break the bank uh, to pick one up for your collection. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, episode one certainly seems to be sort of back in the news now with um, you know, what Dave Filoni is doing uh, with Ahsoka and the sort of the TV shows and making a lot of the prequel trilogy uh, relevant again. And there's a lot of fans who were obviously young when the films come out who've grown up with them um, and love them uh, just as much as you know, we older generation love the original Star Wars trilogy. So I hope you've enjoyed this bit of episode one nostalgia. Uh, take care and until next time, eat geek and be merry.